Well, this is video number two of the ebook formatting kit tutorial. I'm Suzanne Fury Parrott. In this video, we're going to take our newly formatted Word file that we created in Microsoft Word and we're going to convert it to a clean HTML file. Now, you remember that we started with our My Book um, folder from the kit. We had made a copy of the tutorial and made a My Book. And we use the My Book document here of Word to convert it. So we have our Word file all ready to go. It has our chapter headings, bold, italic, underlying text, and a chapter break. The other ones are there. You'll notice that there are paragraph spaces between paragraphs, but this conversion will take out the extra spaces, so you don't have to go through your entire manuscript and fix that. What you're going to do is put your cursor anywhere on the page, Go Command and Control A for all, that'll highlight it. Go Command and Control C to copy it. Now we're going to go to word to cleanhtml.com. Now you might want to use a different word conversion program. I like this one. Now on the right, you'll see that there are check boxes. Now usually I check the first three. Um, the second and third really are not as imperative to do, but, but you definitely want to click the first one which is remove actor, ec, sorry remove empty paragraphs you want to have those removed so what we're going to do is we're going to paste in our information here at paste your document here you can delete that line and go command or control V as in Victor and paste it in now you notice here that there's a little bit of an extra space between the chapter 1 and chapter 2 than there is between 2 and 3 and that's because it has that tag that's in the HTML for the chapter break. Now we're going to convert to clean HTML and if you have a really large file especially if it has images you might have to do this in sections but anyway we have it done here and you can see that it did convert to HTML our chapter headings have the H1 tag and closing tag which is what we want but here's that problem issue I was talking about it says strong break clear equals all and then closing strong tag and this clear equals all will cause a problem in your validation but there is a way to remove this now if you had unchecked that second box this would actually have a B here instead of strong so it would be B um, break and then closing B so now what we want to do is we want to move this entire file by the same way we got it in here into our master EPUB template. So you're going to put your cursor in the file and go Command and Control A to highlight it and Command or Control C to copy it. So now we want to go back to our My Book folder and you can see here we have two different EPUB files here. The sample just shows you what the book will look like when you're done or how it should look and it is validated. What you want to do is you want to open this master template EPUB. Now you can either open SIGL first and then go to open and open the file or in my case I'm going to right click and I'm going to go open with and then I'm going to open with the SIGL program. I'm doing the most updated program. And it'll take a minute to open. But what happens is that it'll open up to a, it'll give you a blank folder and then it'll open up the original. I'm going to shorten this so you can see it. You can see that the cover is in place, the copyright page is there, it also has a table of contents up to three chapters. It has an acknowledgments page. It has an author page. And the content page is where we want to paste our content. Now you don't want to paste it on this part of the page because this is in book view. You can see here. You want to go over here where there's like these little brackets and you're going to click that and go to code view. Now I put a comment tag in here. You can just leave that in there. Go to the end of the comment tag and hit your return a few times you know, two or three times. Just, I like extra space in there. Now you're going to go Command and Control V as in Victor. And you can see it pastes it in. And if we go back to Book View, you can see that you have your chapters in there. You also see that the extra paragraph space between this chapter, which we had not taken the space out, is now gone. But we are going to have to fix that chapter break thing. So in go to the next video and we can fix that issue now.